I'm Caleb, and I'm alone today because we're practicing social distancing. Each week, we will bring you the latest stories about what God is doing. Today, the coronavirus is in America, and people are closing down everything. Many people have been quarantining in their homes for the past couple weeks. Some people even think that we won't be able to celebrate Easter. But guess what we think at God Squad Live about that? Happy Easter, everyone. I'm Elijah, and I'm glad to be here reporting to you today from the Great Room. At Easter, we celebrate that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and rose again on the third day. To celebrate this weekend, my family and I are going to do resurrection rolls and resurrection eggs. I know Stephen is somewhere. Stephen, tell us about what Easter means to you and what your family is going to be doing to celebrate. Hi, I'm Stephen. When I think about Easter, I think about how Jesus um, got hurt, hurt for us and died on the cross to save us from our sins and r rose out on the third day. And so me and you can go to heaven if we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. My family is going to be celebrating Easter by eating lamb and probably um, um, having, get, having jelly beans and maybe an Easter egg hunt. How about you, Caleb? Well, to me, Easter is, it just, in one word, if I had to say it in one word, it would be freedom or power. Jesus came, God loved us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us. He was crucified, and because of that, we're free, and we can now go and live with God forever and be forgiven of our sins. He took all the weight of our sins from us. With my family this year, we're going to have an Easter egg hunt, do resurrection rolls, and something called resurrection eggs. Resurrection rolls are like you make rolls with butter and cinnamon sugar and dough and then you put a marshmallow in the middle of it. When you're done, the marshmallow disappears because it melted. And then resurrection eggs are Easter eggs, but instead of having candy like normal Easter eggs, they have little figures and stuff in them. What? Two of them that I can remember are the donkey, which represents the donkey that Jesus rode in to Jerusalem with, and the whip, which represents how Jesus was crucified for us. It is neat to hear about what everyone is doing. We have some very important special helpers today to tell the Easter story. Some of our youngest members of Grace Life Baptist Church have joined together to share the Easter story with us. Let's watch the video now. An angry crowd took Jesus away to the religious leaders. Jesus did do nothing wrong. They took him to Pilate, the governor. And Pilate soldiers made a crown of thorns and put it on Jesus' head. We led Jesus away. Jesus was nailed to the cross. Two criminals was put on crosses next to Jesus. Darkness dreaded the noon. Jesus died and was buried in a tomb. A uh, bear John what was from a tomb. Pilate soldiers guarded the tomb so that no one would steal Jesus' body. On the third day, two of Jesus' friends, both named Mary, went to the tomb. They were very sad. Suddenly, there was a big earthquake as an angel came down from heaven. The angel rolled away the stone and sat on it. The guards fainted. The angel spoke to the women. Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said he would. The women were so happy. 
Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Wow. Left the tomb to tell Jesus' disciples the good news. Jesus appeared to Peter and then to his other disciples. Then Jesus appeared to more than 500 people who followed him. Also, their own eyes, Jesus is alive. Jesus died for me too. Jesus died for me too. Today on Easter, we are celebrating that Jesus rose again on the third day and is alive. Wow, that was pretty powerful. It's amazing to think of what Jesus did for us. Boys and girls, please remember that Jesus loves you very much. He died on the cross and rose again for you because he wants you to be able to live with him forever. If you aren't sure that you've become a Christian, feel free to talk to your parents or pastors or anyone like that. Well, that's about all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching. Join us next time when we talk about when Jesus was tempted. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.